everyone. Welcome to Toy Break, episode 206. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Sarah Jo! <laughs> and apparently it's Shark Week on Toy Break. <laughs> dun -dun 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 -dun. Are you scared? I'm scared. I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm scared now. <gasps> All right. hey. Oh, that's my eyeball. <laughs> All right, so in case you don't know, uh, Toy Break is your weekly internet show all about sharks and toys, <laughs> such as designer vinyl, action figures, plush, collectibles, Sarah Jo's collectibles, she's one of one, events, how-tos, artists, <laughs> anything we can bring you in the wonderful world of toys, that's our mission. We would like to start by thanking our sponsors, like Fuzzy Balls Apparel, ESC Toy, more ESC art toy. toy, more art than toy. <laughs> Superpower Collectibles, <laughs> DKE Toys, Button Lab, 3D Retro, Pay Saber, Grumpy Bert, Happy Panda Toys, Art Attack Toys, Dragatomi, and Tenacious Toys. Yay! Thank you for all our sponsors and go to toybreak.com. Check them out on the left-hand side of the page. Uh, support them because they support us. It's a ipso facto thing. Like this. Is that what it's called? All right. Is it? How about the Gold Gipper Contest? How about it? What? Brought to you by 3 Dr. Retro. Uh, all you have to do is head over to the contest section on the forum and post your favorite thing from the 80s. Wow. Uh, the deadline is March 21st. Yes. That is true. And it's coming up. So, I think we should get on to reviews. Wow. Bam, just like we that. So Actually, much before we get on the reviews, we have a thank you because we got a package. Well, we in the do, mail. we have a package. We got a surprise a package. package in the mail. George is going to show his package. It came what from did? Amazon. <laughs> no. Okay. Here are a pair of scissors for opening packages on Toy Break. Incredible. Love, and Terry. Yay! Thank you, Aunt Terry. <laughs> thank you, Aunt Terry. <laughs> Look at that. Our very own Toy Break scissors. Those are nice, too. I was going to say, they're not. Scars. Fiskar's the only way to go. I mean, those are the kind that you keep around, you get sharpened and stuff. Yes. You know These what's last. great about the scissors? Tell us. They're in the package that you're like, crap. But I, I wish I had scissors They to came them. with the, it's that kind of packaging. Uh -huh. They were smart. Yeah. So let's check it out. Whoa, there's a tool. Oh, that uh, is some sharp dude. package cutting. Look I'm at that. Like, oh, wait, I don't think you should have those. That's too sharp for you. What I do with special scissors is I write on them with a Sharpie, like... Toy break use only. We should so do that, that. You don't use it on tape and stuff that. that mucks it up. Yeah, you're like, like that. special. I have to cut my fabric. No, don't use these. Fabric. There's a little. <laughs> but there's a screwdriver too. A little screwdriver in there. That's just for magicalness. Or when we have something that needs batteries and we're like, oh crap, we need a screwdriver. Yeah, Boom. for opening packages. It's perfect. That was made for toys. It actually specifically is. Oh. What? Package opener. Open stubborn packaging, freeze product, and gets it working faster. <laughs> so, there you go. <gasps> this episode brought to you by Fiskar. <laughs> and really. Aunt and Terry. And Aunt Terry. <laughs> and sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Aunt Terry. That was extremely thoughtful of you, and I think we should like attach them to the table with one of those retractable cords. Cool. And then it'll just be like, oh, there's the scissors. No? It says this is it's double sided, like but you need pliers. Maybe we should just hang it back here. <laughs> oh, we can we just could, uh, put it on a little hook. We should uh, get we could somebody. Have, but I, <laughs> we could have put it back in the package and oh. hung them, but I opened it. All right, let's let, let's get on. <laughs> we we gotta use these scissors on something. Um, what should we talk about? Well, that box. Chum that buddy box? should be first up. Should no, we discuss? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> should we discuss something over here? You might have to cut me out of here. There you go. Haha. -ha. I'm putting it back in the package. So what's up, chum? What up? What? Chum? I'm What is this? What do you got? It's, what, it's on a, you. It's a ridiculously amazing sleeping bag. <laughs> you got one or of those words bag. right. It's it's soft. It's really soft. And it's also quite warm. Is it? It's cozy. The tauntaun -taun warm? It's well I've actually never gotten in the tauntaun. -taun. You never been in the tauntaun? -taun? Whoa. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so what you can't see down here, it's got like there's the more fin. There's, yeah. <laughs> there's I got sharked. You've been sharked. 
think we've all been sharks. Um, anyway, it's quite fun. It's fun. It's, it's making me feel festive. And obviously, when you're in it, it's it's devouring you. Which Adorable. Which is quite funny. <laughs> You'd be the hit at all of the sleepovers and tent gatherings. Cuddle fests. Cuddle Anything. fests. Yeah. Yes. Cuddle parties. Cuddle parties. I mean, I don't know if they still have that. But I think somebody somewhere. There's a hipster somewhere doing it. I think this is amazing. I think this is, to me, the ultimate plush. It's interactive. I can be in it. I'm totally in it right you now. You are into and honestly, it. honestly, even though it's kind of warm in here, I don't really want to get out of it. Really? Yeah. It's you like, okay? It's like comfy and cozy. And my little tootsies are all warm inside. Somehow by the end of the episode, you will be in pajamas, but you won't have left the shark. Yeah, totally. I think actually down at the bottom, there's like a toothbrush and some <laughs> other stuff. <laughs> the shark must have eaten it earlier. <laughs> It's really convenient for me. Brilliant. May not actually contain Thank, toothbrush. Thank you, shark. <laughs> All right, so we should also mention this is the Chum Buddy 2. I don't know if we mentioned that. This is the second version of the Chum Buddy. And they say, to quote the company that made it, which is patched together, <laughs> uh, the second version here is easier to carry and more functional as a real sleeping bag. So what was Chum Buddy 1? Just kind of a, I don't know a big how plush unfunctional that you get in? It was. We don't know because we didn't actually have one. Road test it. I think it, it was plusher or plushier. I think. Like less comfortable to lay in, like comfortable to sit in. Or... And the cool thing about these, I gotta say, is it sort of functions as a pillow, right? Totally. Totally soft. So it's 79 <laughs> inches. Most people will fit. I think. Yeah, it's there's Anyone plenty of room in here. You could like hide in there. I could you're totally like, go away. You're, you're turtling. I know, right? You guys thought I was Ben, right? And then it was me. <laughs> <laughs> um, this does have a two hundred dollar price tag, but how often are you going to find Ooh. a shark you can sleep in and not die? I don't know. Two hundred dollars? How much is a regular sleeping bag? I a don't good know. sleeping bag? It's like, expensive. Are they two hundred dollars? Like, Fifty to a hundred dollars, yeah. maybe. I don't. I haven't bought a sleeping bag since I was in like third grade. Yeah. I think I don't we need know. to sleep. All right. Well, I'll bring there my you go. Tauntauns are a hundred, but they made more of those, I would assume, than there are chumbody. I don't know. I don't think this is limited. Tauntauns are a hundred, and this is two hundred. But this is plusher. Yeah, but it's not a tauntaun. It is a shark. <laughs> But isn't Star Wars kind of over, anyways? Yeah. yeah. Like, Shark. isn't it time Shark for Shark, Shark Week? Yeah, okay. So anyway, get Shark these in Wars. time for Shark Week. Whenever that is. We don't know, but ask Keith. But order now, I feel like Shark and Week is like every other week. Isn't it in the summer? Doesn't it, like, yeah, twice or three so. times a year? They've been doing Shark Week for, like, 27 seasons or something. Really? That There's only be been right. Discovery Channel for four. So. <laughs> no. That can't be right. <laughs> Don't listen to him. He doesn't know information. I don't know anything. Anyway, it comes in like a handy carrying bag, and you, your friends will think it's fun. Some of them. You took my drink away. Some of them will not. My caffeine. <laughs> Let's go on to the next thing. Shall right. we? It's, um, it's right it's here. down there. The best thing is you don't have to do anything because you're like, oh, I'm stuck in the shark. So that's adorable. What yeah. is it? It's a teddy. What's a teddy? How many it, are there? A thousand. So this artist, in this box? Philip Jordan, he painted a thousand teddies for an art show. Amazing. Amazing. Um, I believe he's a German guy and he lives in the Netherlands and he, he sees like emotions and people and he wanted to become a famous emo bear artist. Ah! <laughs> but the position was already taken. Right. So instead he painted a thousand teddies. So he wants quantity. And he made Wait, one of them into bad. a toy. I didn't mean that like he had bad quality. Oh, no. We actually really like them. I kind of want one of these paintings. They're amazing. And there's a YouTube video. You guys can check it out. Um, we just watched it. So we just watched the video, and it's actually pretty cool to watch, to see it as, we're, you know, to see the video and then look at this like and talk about it. Like, this is but now here's the first thing that I, that's <laughs> kind of... Holding my finger. What's that say? It says 264 out of 400. 400. Oh, there's not a thousand. They missed a golden opportunity here. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even think of that. <laughs> really? 400? Well, look at his face. He does look kind of... He's pretty upset about he's that. He's like, what? You 
only made 400. We could have sold a thousand. Like that's the whole point. Maybe they're gonna save that for later. Well, it is crazy label. They're crazy. They are crazy. Well, let's see it. Let's see what I it looks like. I haven't seen one. In Do you see how big yet. it is? It's an eight inch vinyl. Oh, it looks big. Wow. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like this already. First off, clamshell. Like. Don't need scissors. Oh, it's like snuffle up as gets colored. It's even like canvasy. It looks like a canvas. Yeah, it does look like a canvas. It has canvas texture. Yes. This is kind of weird. Why is there a huge extra? What does that note say? There's a note in there. There is a note. Ooh. Yeah. Finally. Tells the story. Yeah, that smells good. Phil what Jordan, story? born in Germany, lives in the Netherlands. We just said it all. He's a very thoughtful looking bear, isn't he? He, he is, and he kind of looks like maybe he's hiding something. Like, what are you hiding, bear? What do you got back there? You Teddy's, got scissors? Teddy's in space com or Facebook.com slash Teddy's in space. Is that Weird. the same guy that was in the video? Look, he's got nothing. No hair now. He had, That's like, crazy guy. hair in the other one. Like, yeah. Look at all the bears. There's a lot of bears there. I'm kind of into the bears. bears. The, this, it retails for $75. I like that it's at an angle. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, no, it's it cool. stands. It totally stands, but it's like when you stand it flat, he's, he's, he's leaning he's over. He's got a bit of a he's got a bit of an attitude. He's got a gangsta lean forward. He has a gangsta lean, but I like that. You know, we see so many figures that again, there's nothing wrong with it, but you know, it's a symmetrical, evenly dispersed piece. But it's nice to see some character and some almost kind of movement. I think maybe if you. You know, you're home alone and you want to talk to someone. You could totally talk to him because Call he's like break. listening he's, to you. He does look like he's listening. Or he's like, oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> My feet are backwards, but that's fine. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny that way. He's a very patient bear. It's very simple. There's one point of articulation. The paint is red with a little bit of a black wash over the, the eyes and the no nose, ears. It makes me think that Philip Jordan is a sensitive fellow. Yeah? Yeah. Is that what you're getting from that? Mm -hmm. It makes me want a bear painting. Like, I want to be like, I have a piece of that. I do kind of want one, too. I want, like, a little one. I wonder how much they cost. I don't know. We need to find out. We're totally looking as soon as we're done with this. We're, we're looking right now. Because this is Because I Actually, they're right in here. Excuse me. <laughs> The shark ate some before the show. <laughs> I think it's pr that's a nice toy. What do you think of it as a toy versus like just the aesthetic value? Um, are you asking me? Oh, well, let's see the feet. It's a bear. Thousand Teddies, Philip Jordan, Crazy Label, Wookie Web. Done. Um, I, I you really look like thoughtful it. about it. I really like it. I like the. I like the texture. I like that it's not just like, because you know a lot of vinyls just choose to be smooth for some reason, um, and I like that they. Stylistic choice. I like that they didn't choose to be smooth. They could have easily just made this like a cartoony thing, and it would have lost all of the charm of the paintings. But I think keeping it like this really helps make it look like the art. A good translation, you're saying. Yeah, and since every bear drawn is different like it doesn't like it doesn't have to look like one specific one i want another one like i want like a green one in like a slightly different different a smaller one yes they could actually do a blind box series of these <gasps> all different ones Thousands what's so ones. engaging about them like just looking at this box is well, very mesmerizing to me well he talks about in the video the eyes and how the eyes are really looking at you and i think they're all <laughs> They're really, Look at them. they're really looking at you. These wide-eyed bears. Yeah, they're looking at you. Really fun. Yeah, Do it's you feel good. It? I'm hoping that the of 400 is this color, and then maybe there's a few other colors that bring it up to a thousand. That would be nice. Because they really should have been a thousand. I like this piece. Like that upsets me. <laughs> really? But a thousand yeah. is a lot. Well, yeah. But, but if there were a thousand paintings. That's yeah, the it whole was a idea. thousand different If bears, everybody that's... bought that bought a painting bought a bear, like, wouldn't if you had a painting, wouldn't you buy the bear? It depends. Do I know the bear exists? Well, probably. You're probably on his mailing list if you bought the painting or something. I don't Hopefully. know. Hopefully. 
I would imagine that you. Do I have seventy five dollars left over from buying the painting? Yeah. We don't know how much the painting. Yeah, we don't worth. know yet. Probably. If the painting is twenty thousand dollars, I don't. Well, I guess seventy five. I like that you can see that. <laughs> where it was put together, like the patches that when they were sculpting the thing. You can see where the patches of canvas were laid mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and kind of glued down. It makes it look a there. little more. It's like more handmade, handmade and just yeah. yeah, like. But finished, it still looks finished. It's nice. I really like this. Approved. Whoa, George approved. Moving on. Moving on. I think it's blind box time. Oh. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! <laughs> yes. Already? Already. Well, what look what have? we have here. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. Uh, this is Hello Kitty. Did you see that Grandpa look he just did? He was like, I guess this is Hello Kitty. Is this what the kids are? Uh, like? <laughs> Hello Kitty Birthday Party by Remnant. Remnant? Remnant. 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 Oh, look. There's some scissors for easy opening. Thanks, Aunt Terry. I have to say it every time. <laughs> <laughs> we need to put it on the scissors so we don't forget. Toy big scissors for Aunt Terry. Thank you, Aunt Terry. <laughs> Oh my gosh, give us the things. Stop making the display box. <sighs> oh, it doesn't open. Come on! <laughs> Go ahead and pick one. <laughs> so this is best of both worlds. It's worlds. Wolf? It's worlds. It's, uh, it's Hello Kitty and Tiny Food. So Remint, if you don't know, makes all sorts of crazy tiny food pieces and collections, as well as, I think they make little furniture things too, but nobody cares about that. They want food. Yeah. So by best of both worlds. That's the one! I want the chicken. We all want the yeah. same one. It has the little... one with the little Hello Kitty rice balls. I guess the birthday cake would be cool too. Rice balls. But oh, I, the pizza. I like the pizza. I just want That's the chicken. That's a hidden Mickey. Honestly, I kind of like all of them. I saw hidden... those. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm totally I want, ripping it. I them. Um, <laughs> so everything on the show today is. Uh, Distributed by DKE. Yes. Including these. Um, sometimes uh, we get the remint stuff, and it is limited, and they they put out some, and comes then they're with gone. Comes a piece of candy. Is this edible, or is this candy. like... Yeah, yeah it's it like comes with candy. gum, isn't it? It's like a chiclet, I think. Is it legit, yeah. though? Like... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it comes with it's stickers. I got the one with the drinks. Ooh, I got cake. What did you get, George? I don't know. Oh, well, there's six in the box, so I bet there's one of each. We should open what them all. What is that? I don't know. Did you get I a game? A I can't toy? Tell what it is. You didn't get food. Oh Mine has three gosh, tiny little Hello look. Kitties. Look it's at the a little game. Can we open them? Hey, look. Yeah. Where are those scissors? The one thing there's about remit stuff is that sometimes they have really small. Oh, yeah, this is. The <laughs> scissors parts aren't cutting this. That you instantly lose. You gotta use the tip of this, just the tip. But there's a little hole that you can just tear into Wait, it. Wait, I can do the scissors. It's really it. easy if you just use the top. I freed my flag. I got a happy birthday flag. That's what she said. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Flag. Flag. <laughs> it's because you're in a shark. Flag. <laughs> Do they have all sharks in Wisconsin? Probably. I bought some of these remit things when I was in Ooh. Japan. Who knew that they were going to end up right here? Look Feel how convenient thing. it is. I have like a whole table. Oh, good. You have a shark in. face. Table. That wasn't against you. I'm sorry. What? You don't have a shark face. You have a shark <laughs> What's face. What's wrong with your face? <laughs> oh, mine is Man a game. mouth face. Can you play it? Is it yes, playable? Yes, it's playable. <gasps> I, need play. I like that Hello Kitty totally has apple juice at her birthday. Um, what else would she have? like healthy Look, she doesn't even sake. have a mouth how does she eat that's food? the board game oh these are the little players and this is a spinner <gasps> and there's numbers oh that's cute so it is a playable board game Look. and it comes with the box Yee, little hello kitty and she comes with yeah, a little stand and for some reason she's going i'm sorry she's going because <laughs> she has no mouth but her overalls are smiling. Where does all this go? So I have the... Oh, I see where the candles go. Can I have the other ones? I want that. Nope. Make mores. Nope. Oh, she holds her flag. That's why. Oh, so cute. 
Duh. Oh, there you go. Happy birthday. Let's <gasps> not leave those right that there, Peter. Adorable. I want to poke yourself but with. They were closed, weren't they? No. Look at the little cake. Here, you get one so more. these are coming here. soon. They're not quite out yet, but coming in March. So yeah, that's now ish. In a couple weeks, you'll start seeing these in stores probably. And, it, March. and it looks like if you get a box, you get one of each. Oh, the chicken! Yay! And more of the gum. That's not that great. Kitty plate. I love that Hello Kitty has herself on her cake. Well, I don't know if she goes there, but there's a weird little Hello Kitty bit. So I assumed it went on the cake. Yeah, it must. It must. The Hello Kitty bit does go on the cake. Ta-da! As per the image. As okay. per the image. I would hate to go against the image. Oh, there's a piece of lettuce. That's awesome. Oh, Wait, where's dude. my other one? My it's in your lap. Back. Oh! It was a sneak attack. Nope. Sitting in your lap the whole time. Sneak attack. Sitting in your lap. Sitting by the doctor, the Smurf Bay. Uh, this is, oh, yes, the pizza. Wait, I need those. Banner, banner. Look at the get out of Hello Kitty tray. Wait, I need those. I could put the lettuce on it. A couple of pieces of chicken. <laughs> Hello Kitty <gasps> rice ball. I want a rice ball so bad right now. That sounds delicious. It's even got a little butt. What? An unintentional butt. That is adorable. Comes with a band-aid. <laughs> oh, that's on my hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the little bento box. Okay. Look at Hello Kitty forks. Look. There it is. Oh. This is a sticker. I guess you have to put it on the sign. Oh, DIY. Do it yourself. Yeah, so you can set up the whole party if you get the whole box. Party. Then you get this little school bus, and it comes with a little Hello Kitty cracker inside that says That's Happy racist. Birthday. No, it's, oh, it's actually like animal crackers. Yeah, a little cracker. And there she is, ready for her pate. Oh. Why is she all furry? She's, she's hanging out with the bear. Huh. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite pizza. Chicken? <laughs> yes, I would like the chicken. Thank you. Oh, I think these are supposed to be like McNugget thing. I don't know what What's those up are with to... this? I haven't put the thing in yet. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It's either noodles or curry or rice. yellow rice. Ooh, yes. who got the soda? Anybody? I did. It's apple juice. It's right here. Maybe it's ginger ale. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. It's funny. Hot and delicious. Birthday special. Oh, this is adorable. Oh. I love tiny food. So needless to say, we love these. They are $8 each retail, but you get kind of Done. a lot of amazing pieces Hidden. inside. And look at all the joy it brings. Oh, my chicken. It is, <laughs> just in case you were wondering, it is a pepperoni, uh, green bell pepper, and olive pizza. I was wondering. Thank I know you. you were. I know. That's why I gave that information. The rice balls are my favorite. The cake is gorgeous. Pizza is funny. Love. Love me some tiny Hello Kitty crap. It's also funny because, like, <laughs> if you've ever seen the remount food, it's not always really in scale to each other. It's true. Because, like, look at that. Like, the rice this, balls the size of a piece of cake. compared to the cake. Or the chicken drumstick is like as big as the like that oh. would be a rice ball like this big. Yep. Which I would eat right now. Right now. In fact, let's go get. Never mind toy break. We're going to get rice balls. Peace. Okay, love these remit from DKE and Hello Kitty. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? We have more. Uh, but wait, there's more. Those Back are to weird. Review. What are they supposed to be? Sponges? Chicken nuggets? Probably chicken nuggets in the shape of yeah. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitties. Alright, we have more. Alright. Do you want to tell us about it? This is called Uprising's Deep Blue Edition by Cozy and Dan and Monkey King. Back by popular demand. Oh. This is the third edition of this nine and a half inch vinyl, which features dark blue metallic water cresting into pearlescent white bunnies. Uprisings originated as an illustration inspired by the classic Hokusai woodblock print, The Great Wave of Kanagawa. 
Bravo. Can Bravo. be displayed Bravo. alone or used as bookends. Ta-da. If you had two. Useful. Or, or a wall. Here's a... It's big. Here's a note about Cozy and Dan. Tell us. Also did illustrations for Oh Yeah Dude. For really? their website and their logo, yeah. Did they? Um, here's a funny note about this piece. If anybody wants to hear my funny little story. I had seen it online dozens of times. I thought, okay, somebody made a wave. People will make anything. That's cool. And I was standing at Monkey King one day, waiting for somebody to do something. I was standing there and like... It was, this was in one of the, the glass cases, and I looked at it, and I went, those are bunnies! <laughs> and I felt stupid, because I didn't realize they were bunnies the whole time. They're totally bunnies. They're totally bunnies, if you can't tell. I especially like this last one. <laughs> that has to be That's my favorite bunny. the only good bunny on there. Aww. Really? In my opinion. Whoa, that one's like bunny centipede. Oh, that, that... Human centipede that bunnies. Thing. Look at him. Mm. He went ass to mouth. Mm. Well, bunnies do that. Bunnies do. What What you don't like? <laughs> do you like this? No, he doesn't like it. He's making a face. Do you like anything? He liked the bear. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about the bunnies. Tell us about the bunnies, George. Oh, it's How, heavy. When do you get to Holy say that? Cow. I don't know if he's qualified though, because it is not a toy. Mm, that's the point. That's um, the point. I really like the print. I, I like the the art. Um, I don't know. I just feel like. I don't know. Do you feel like this is very crisp, and that's not? It's just yeah. It didn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's as, it's as good as it can be. It just doesn't. <laughs> just doesn't. Like, some things don't need to be made into 3D pieces. Like, some things work as a 2D piece. I agree with that, but after, sh like, seeing this and checking it out up close, I actually like it a lot more than I thought I was going to. And I think it's a really fun piece because not a lot of stuff looks good up against a wall or somewhere flat. That's true. And this is made to go there. Like, most figures... That's like or 360, you know, you want to see the whole thing. The only place it'll look good is up against right. something. Like, I, it you standing out alone, hang out like that. it looks dumb. Well, I do like that it's a bookend. Like, that's fun. I, I always like stuff it's that is multifunctional, so... I agree with that. And you can kind of put another toy up here. I need a toy. Because that looks good. That looks I, way better. Not yeah, this, but way, like... Way to class it up. Like a, a thing... How know, about like you just figure. don't put things up there? If you wanted to. Look, I'm a space saver. <laughs> no, that's all we this got to say This is an episode this? of Awkward Silence. It is. Like, yo, no, nothing else. You act like we just met. I, I don't uh, know what to say hi. about it. I don't know, like... <laughs> it's it's a thing. Don't we really it's... shake hands like that in real life? <laughs> the people that like it are going to like it. I feel it. like you think the bunnies are too soft. Just, How could a bunny be too soft? And when you look at the illustration, the bunnies are really well defined. And this just looks like a mash that somebody like, oh look, you just put an ear here, poke it, it looks here, that's an eye. What if you had two of them and books in between them? About I, I mean, waves. I guess you could just put books against the wall and then that against it. I don't know. Like, it's just, it's, it's just not for me. You're some, not into sculptures. Some things aren't for me. That's not for you. And that's fine, because if you liked everything, then someone else would hate everything. That's true. True. Balance. It's important. I would I would like to own a print of that. Stuff. I like that. I like the color of that particular one, the dark blue. Me too. I like the color as well. And it's quite striking. It's quite pleasing, and I like that this sort of looks like meringue. It does. Bunny meringue. Bunny meringue. Moving on. Delicious. Moving on. Also from DKE Toys. And Monkey King. Next up. Go ahead. The Thug. S-H. Thuggish. Is that how we say it? That's how I say it. I'm going to say it that way too. Thuggish. Uh, Stormhammer, the red furry unit. This is an eight inch. Furry? <laughs> or fury? A oh, fury. <laughs> is it furry or is it fury? It's both. Okay. That one's furry. This one's fury. Okay. They team up. Go ahead. <laughs> this is an 8-inch 
soft, eco-friendly, 100% eco-friendly vinyl. Which... The box has a lot to say about that. I need to find out more about this. Tell us about it, George. In the year 2.072, the Earth, comma, our home, face an imminent <laughs> ecocide. Thug is a special eco squad created from global network of reservation and sustainable protection for the protection of natural reserves and prevent news, nuclear, and chemical disaster in the world. How do you get that out? I don't know. Weird. I don't think it comes out of the bag, everyone. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Shoot. This box contain. Um, this is... <laughs> I did say that. It's awesome. It's babble fishy. I can't do okay. this. I'm not qualified. I'm a professional. This Someone needed spell Special. check. Someone needed, like, grammar How check. How get this into the bag? This was made in this bag. Oh, it's taped up here. It was born in the sauce. <laughs> it was born in the bag. Did it rip or is it... No, it ripped somewhere and they just taped it up. Okay, well, we'll put some of that back on. Uh, it comes in a bag that it's trapped in. And this artist is from Chile. Well, they're coming. There. So there it you happens. go. You can't really put it back in the bag because the bag will apparently break when you pull it out. I'm very confused by the bag. But there does appear to be some kind of instructional card. Postcard? If they're trying to be so eco-friendly, why'd they put it in a giant plastic bag? This is 100% eco-friendly vinyl. What about the bag that it came in? That was probably the same vinyl. Drill hand. Oh, hand. Stick it in. Yeah. Awesome noise. Oh, thug. Toy home unit guardian. Jinkies. Wow, it's getting cooler. Oops. Keep going. I think that's all the holes it's got to fill. Where does this go? Optional. Oh, maybe you can stick it in one of these? I think it's an extra hand. Yeah, but... Mm. Oh, okay. Extra hand. So, this Whoa. totally got awesomer. It's kind of like amazing. How much is this thing? Hundred bucks. It's pretty big though. Has so, a lot of bits here. Oh, a bit. All right, let's uh, take this drill off. And put three that. points of articulation. It's got the arms and the head. Yeah. Wow, that's like the thing. Uh, it's like the. Uh... All right, robot hand pliers, hammer fist, and drill hand finger. Drill hand finger. Mm -hmm. So says this. This is pointy. This is a weapon of mass hurt. Thuggy is available for separated. I'm using alone on the word. What? Hey, take all my stuff. George is playing with it. I think he likes it. I really like that thing. First of all, I just like that size of like a massive vinyl robot. Mm -hmm. Something about that is very attractive to me and it makes me want to do kind of what he's doing, but like I want to like run it around the room. The feet are kind of amazing. Like, so many vinyl toys have been made that do not stand well. And this has these feet that are like <laughs> little, will stand. little, little tanks. tank feet. Yeah. Holy tank feet. I feel like it's crushing in on itself, though. Maybe that's the eco-friendliness of it all. In what? In what? Where? Like, show me. I don't know. Like, the chest looks like it's, like, crushing in on itself. That looks like the I angle that was part of it. And then like the feet look like they're crushing it on themselves. Like they're at a little bit of an angle, but I think that's just the 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 character design is is crazy. I love the attachments. <laughs> it's like I'm a vacuum cleaner salesman. It just made, I don't know, it took it from like, yeah, it's a cool robot, to like, whoa, it's a fucking cool robot! <laughs> I'll tell you, if I had gotten this as a kid, I would have loved playing with this. It's rad. See? It's a cool toy. I like the throwback mouth, because it's got a little bit of a retro feel. Mm-hmm. Like the very simple, just... I think the colors kind of do that, too. Yes, you're right. And there's other colors of this, I believe, set on the box. Let me see. Let's do some research. Uh, oh, white, yeah. white, black, death militia, green, orange, and black and red. Oh, yeah, death militia. Oh, because death, death militia is five inch. Oh, yeah. So, wait, SH. 
This is an eight inch, and then there's nine inches. Oh, DIY. Yeah. Death militia. Toy. Oh, we have this one, Red okay. Fury. Then there's also Green Patrol, Fury. Death Militia, DIY Custom. Black and DIY White. And a five inch Custom White. Huh. There's a lot of options, considering it's eco-friendly. Rat, made of non-phthalate vinyl, no toxic contained. Hmm. Toy respect. Toy spec. <laughs> Didn't it say soft somewhere? Did we read that? That's soft vinyl compared to like PVC. A bag is soft. That's what they meant. Like, it, look. It look. says enclosed full hard. Full hard three hand accessories. If anybody wants me to look over their packaging in a foreign language, like in English, before I we... will also do that. <laughs> <laughs> we would be happy to help. I won't. <laughs> I think it's funnier this way. I like this bit a lot. Biomechanic weapon suit machine. Is it? What is this made out of? Okay, Metal. Hold that. Is it? No, that's. That's still vinyl. That's cool. I like things that have weird hosey connectors. Hoser. <laughs> You're the hoser, eh? Mm. It's metal. Oh, it is? Oh, I didn't pull it out. It is metal. What? It's a little metal wire. Oh. It's just coated. I don't know if you can see it's just rubber coated yeah. wire. Weird. Which also means you can bend it a little, but don't bend it too much, because at some point it would probably break. Yeah. So. What a weird toy. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, but when he does this, he's like... Certainly is that Rawr. big now. Don't you like that? How do you not like that? She's petting it. He's like a He's cool petting. little she angry robot. It. Like, I could leave him on my desk. I'd be like, you're my little minion. Go out and, like, kill Ben. Whoa. No, not really. But, like, and then he'd walk in and he'd be like, I'm here for Ben. And Ben would be like, I'm six feet. I'm going to crush you. Ben's not six feet tall. <laughs> Let's move on. We film him on a on an apple box to make him look tall. What's the next thing? This. What what got you? This. It's a Gen 4 finger skateboard by Close Up, Antis, Nomad, Five, Boron, NYC. So you said a lot of names right there. So those are different collabs. And in there. This set This is actually really kind of kind of awesome. I was playing with this a little bit. I think you might be into this, George. So... Uh-oh. Now he's going to hate it because I said that. There's that. Okay. And it comes with all this stuff. That. What is it? It is a fingerboard. Similar to Tech Dex, except bent in weird ways. And made out of real maple and not crummy um, plastic. I feel like it might be a touch bigger, too, which I like. But check this out. <gasps> oh, I would have been into the Like, I would have needed these when I was a kid. I loved little, like, parts that I could move around. So it comes with the board, two okay. trucks, printed wheels, tools, stickers, rip tape, grip tape, and all the nuts and screws necessary to Actually, actually tape. build yourself a little skateboard that's totally playable the wheels are kind of amazing these and trucks are amazing here's the stickers so you could decorate it and you can you can totally build it and like here's the instructions this is totally like a hefty little metal piece to make your board out of yeah it feels rad you're making an actual little model it's not like a toy version of it yeah. it's a model yeah it's a model it's a little model kit for sure I love the accessories and the options. Now, oh, anyone, has anyone read the price yet for this? Okay, so it's thirty dollars. But but okay, it's a model kit. Okay, and it's made of wood and metal and real stuff. Okay, it smells like you have a store. We kind of knew that you were gonna say that thirty dollars was too much. Okay, but it's also <gasps> from France. Okay. And so we, smell we, we've talked about this before, how the exchange rate is terrible and it makes it more expensive. Okay. Smell for me. We know it's a lot. Okay. But it's still pretty We, we cool. at DKE Toys? We. Just the royal we. Oh, the royal we. Sorry. The royal ten and mom's we. 
Would you like to see the instructions? Stickers? Are they in French? Nope. Do you want to build it? I'm all good. I thought you were going to do this. You got this, nothing no? to say? $30. Did you see this? Yep. It's Handcrafted a wooden board with real metal trucks. Have Look you, at the tiny nuts. Have you not played with Tech Deck before? But a Tech Deck is plastic and crummy. Yeah. You know, but it comes with all of those parts, right? Not like that. Oh, yes. Not like that. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Let's see. What I do you got I believe this was $2.99. Uh, tech Deck. Comes with a small tool. All the wheels. Yeah. Metal trucks. All the little pieces. That truck looks like crap compared to Extra this. Extra stickers. Grip tape they put on already for you on this one. Where's the tiny nuts? Uh, they're right there. See that little one right there that holds that the truck like on? That looks the same tiny nut. Yeah. See the same exact tool, except it's in yellow instead of black? Oh. Two ninety nine. Where's the grip tape? It's on the board already. So I don't have an option? No, but they do no. sell extra grip tape, I believe, that you could do that separately. Hey, did you see which board that is? And everybody? this is the shape of board that people ride. This is like a mushed up mess. And this is art from, well, this one just happens to be Squid Kids, Inc. Friends of the show. Friends of the show. Friends of us. Not saying friends. these guys aren't our friends or we don't know them. Apparently, but they're not your friends. If now. I were going to hang one of these boards on my wall, it wouldn't be this one. Aww. Can we look uh, at the, wait, let's no look offense, at the No offense, France. Can we look at the trucks? Because I feel like the this entire truck country of France is nicer than that truck. He's not sold. Uh, uh, not thirty dollars nicer, and the paint's chipped. Oh no, wait, that's a little logo. Yeah, this is our sample. <laughs> so get off it. I don't know. Really? I can buy ten of these. That that's true. You could, but would you? Oh well, no, I would just buy this one. <laughs> well, are these the same size? Oh, they are very similar in Well, size. no, this one's... Oh, well, yeah, they are the same size. This one's a little bigger. I like the handmade wooden quality of this. I think that's a It is a cool nice to see the layered touch. board. Like a real skateboard. Yeah. That is... It's cool. Not plastic. These used to be wood. They've upgraded to plastic now. <laughs> it's cheaper. I don't... What do we do about him? I don't know. It's an off night. What am I going to say? Okay. It's okay. You don't have to like everything, but I think this is kind of fun. I This is neat. I've never seen this in the boards like that. I thought you were going to want to build it. Rip, I thought so rip too. tape. I've never seen before. Which is like a soft polyprene. I wish these wheels Let's build it. Do they? Let's build it. Well, we can build it. Go ahead. Let's see if we can get $30 worth of enjoyment out of this. I already did. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, not that. Hello. Huh? Alright, I'm building it. Um, in a bear's do we belly. know, so I know... <laughs> no, bear's belly. So, DKE distributes these. Mm -hmm. uh, do we know where people can... Well, you can go to your local store and tell them to order. Yeah. Tell your local toys. favorite store to get them. For us with all this stuff. Mall. Why don't we let you build and we'll talk about events. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> WonderCon is coming up. They have comics, toys, art, and more Ooh. at the Anaheim Convention Center right behind Disneyland in Anaheim, California, March 16th to 18th, wondercon.org. And please do stop by booth 185. I sound like a plain person. You are a plain no, person. No. You are a plain person. Well, no, not, I meant like you're not passenger a boarding is over there. <laughs> The white zone is for They're called flight attendants. Come see us at booth number 185. Yay! Some of us will be there. Some <laughs> of us won't be. I won't be because I'll be at Bricks, Bricks by, by the, the Bay. Bay! It's a convention for Lego enthusiasts. Like me. And maybe like you. It's at the Hyatt Regency Santa Clara in Santa Clara, California, March 16th to 18th, with models on display for public day on the 18th, which is Sunday bricksbythebay.com. You can get tickets and times and show info and all that stuff. Are you entering something? To um, I, don't, I don't actually have anything to take this time because mm -hmm. uh, the, the dates moved up a little closer than last year and I, don't, I just don't have anything. Oh. 
If you had that full but year, you would have been able to get something. But if I had... Eh. Eh. <laughs> I'll have something for BritCon. Okay. But if you didn't see uh, the One Lug's seven and a half foot Orthanc Tower, that will be there. That's kind of impressive. That was like a foreign language to me. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what any of that meant. Dumbledoos and Dumbledores. Uh, let's wrap this show up. <laughs> Save money with Toy Break coupons online. Check the show notes at toybreak.com for complete details, as well as links to everything we talked about, whether we liked it or not. You can also watch past episodes, join the contests and the discussions on the forum. You can check out the goodies page for fun freebies like Toy Break Paper Toys. There's different designs made by Alexander Gwynn, Zakane, and Castle for it. Look at all that fun you can have for free! Uh, you can call and leave us a voicemail at 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can email us at info at toybreak.com. You can keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. You can check out our toy briefs and our full episodes at youtube.com slash toybreak. And uh, you can follow us on Twitter. I'm at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. At Sarah Jo. Gaspar. Gaspar. <laughs> Does everybody have a favorite thing from this week? No? This. <laughs> that was easy I for call you. it that's <laughs> <laughs> okay you don't really have to have a favorite <laughs> mine's the Hello Kitty cakes but you can't see them because they're like this big what? is this these? for the picture? no I just want to show everybody that's my favorite uh, thing do not eat do not eat the remint that's your favorite thing huh? I can't believe you're staying in the whole time mm -hmm. hey, sleep too <laughs> and now here's your sleep break no and now here's your shark break here's now here's your shark attack land shark and now your shark week <laughs> no. You got thin. Park <laughs> on land, I need water. Ah! Ah!